The 2017 NJASCD Dr. Ernest L. Boyer Outstanding Educator Award winner is Kimberly Harrington. Kimberly Harrington spent much of her career as a classroom teacher before joining administration as a supervisor of curriculum and instruction. In 2012, she was named Director of Academic Standards for the New Jersey Department of Education. And last fall, she was tapped to lead the department as commissioner. The transition from the classroom to the department was a big transition for me. Having spent, at that point, just shy of 20 years in the classroom, in school buildings, uh, working as a teacher and an administrator. But coming to the department, I needed, a new, I needed a new vision. My number one goal or vision has been to make sure that the student voice is part of every conversation. Adults do a lot of talking about education and what should be done in education and how it impacts us and how what we think would make a difference and very rarely in those conversations do I hear people talk about students or even use the word students at the forefront of the conversation. And in listening to that student voice, Kimberly has a new focus on what we need to provide to our students. I think I'm, I've sort of taken a shift away from the college and career readiness terminology to think about um, career readiness as a whole because I really believe students need to be equipped with a skill set to make a choice post-secondary, whatever that might be. So for some children, they want to go directly into a career. Others will go to college to get to that career place, and others will still find their career via serving our country in the military. So for me, career readiness means that we've given children skills to be able to make a choice to follow whatever it is that they dream about. There is no secret as to what inspires Kimberly and what keeps her focused in her career. I am inspired first and foremost by children always have been my whole entire career. I remember um, when I was teaching, the, before, the week before school started, after I had the name cards printed up and set on each desk and pencil cases ready to go and all of that, I would stay one day and I would sit in each child's desk and I'd look at their name and I'd think who they might be and what it was that they might aspire to be. And be humbled by what is my role in serving that child and this group of children. I am optimistic about the state of education. I think that we are at a pivotal place that we have been hungering for as educators, as parents, as children. We've been in a system that's been set up since the Industrial Revolution, and I think we're on the precipice of great change where we are looking at a new generation of learners and we're beginning to stop the conversation of this is how I learn and this is what I used to do, and we're really open to taking on the challenges of how do we serve the children in our care and make sure that they're ready for a world that they're going to take on that looks nothing like ours did. She is clearly honored to be presented with the Boyer Award. When I received the email from Maria Dare um, letting me know that I had been selected for the Boyer Award, I literally had a moment in my office that was just seized with overwhelm. Uh, I just, like now, <laughs> I'm just speechless. This award has gone to some of the people that have either been a direct mentor to me or whom I have looked up to my whole career. Uh, just blown away, me, Kimberly Harrington, a first grade teacher who has just spent her life serving children to be honored with this award among uh, these other superheroes in education, I'm incredibly humbled.